In this video, we're going to explore how we can change the colors in the tooltips. As you can see here, they're nice correlated with the border color that we have. So the moment we hover over a specific color, it will show, as you can see here, this one is probably not the right solution for this, but it will give you a way to play more around with the tooltip in an interactive way, matching with the colors here. So let's start to explore how to do this. In this video, we're going to answer one of the viewers' questions, which is how to change the font colors of the tooltip labels in Chart.js. And this question came from one of my other videos about how to hide the tooltip in a donut chart in Chart.js. So this question came in this video, and then if you scroll down here, you will find it from Brohisoft. A special thank you to Brohisoft for asking the question, and we had some interaction in here and this is eventually what Brohisoft was trying to accomplish. I'm trying to remove the box which you removed in a previous video and I'm talking about the box uh, with, well this was I explained in another video about this and then next what he's trying to do as well and this is the second question of it, I'm also trying to change the font color etc but nothing affects on the chart. All right so let's start to look at that because changing font colors in a tooltip requires uh, to use the callback option and the callback option is slightly more complicated but however let's start and explore how to do this first thing what we need to do is we need to get a default code so go to chartjs 3com getting started and you might see this weird message here forgive me about that for some reason uh, google chrome is giving me these errors even on vue.js and on some other websites however if you go on firefox it works completely well no problem so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to copy this chunk of code here and if you want to understand what this code does, please check this specific video here that explains the JavaScript of that. I'm going to paste this in here and then I will copy this and put it in there. And then let's save that. Refresh, there we are. So now we have our nice bar chart here. And what we want to do here is, for example, we want to change the colors here. And to change these colors, we're going to focus here specifically on the label section here. And if you want to understand that, I have this video here at the very end. I will also show you the link, but this video goes very deep in everything. So what we're going to do here is we want to make sure that the colors here, the border color will be matched with the font color here. Instead of white, it should be dark green, yellow, blue, etc., etc. So how are we going to do that? To do this, we need to use two tips or we go into the two tips options. First thing in options, we're going to say plugins. And the plugins is essential because the plugins is the Part we're going to adjust everything and then we say here tool tip and in the tool tip we need to put in a few items first of all I'm going to make sure there's a comma here and then what we're going to do here is basically call callbacks so if we're talking about callbacks in the tool tip if you go to charge s3 this is the latest version of course tool tips and you scroll down here you will find eventually something about callbacks uh, tool tip callbacks this is the namespace that we're going to use so that's what we're using here right now and then in here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select some specific namespace to be here, the font color. And in this case here, we're working with uh, color labels. I guess the color here itself, that should be the, the label text color, which would return the colors of the text of the label for the tooltip item, which is, in other words, this one here, the one after the colored boxes. So what we're going to do here is basically this. I'm going to use here this callback, and this callback is basically a function. So we're going to say here label text color with capital T and capital C column. Here we're going to make a function, but I'm going to use the, the ES6 shorthand, so I say context. And then here arrow function. And then in here, what I want to do eventually is I want to return a certain value. But if I would just say here now return, and oh, so return should be like this, and then we can put in here a fixed color. However, I don't want to do this. And well, let's put in one, uh, I don't know, let's see what happens if I do this. I have no idea what color will come out. Let's save that and refresh. You can see it becomes white and now it becomes dark blue, blackish. However, I don't want this. What I want to do is I want to make this correlated with the borderline as I indicated here. So to do this, we need to know what this really means here, the context. So we do console.log, and you'll see that the context will consist of all the values that the tooltip will recognize. If I refresh here now and open up our developer tab, 
if I hover over it, you can see here now, the context is showing basically everything we want to know. And what do we really want? Well, basically, I want to know the following. If I hover over this purple line here, I would like to make sure we get the value of this one here. You can see we can find already a certain item. You can see here all these items. If I click on this, what we really want to do is we want to go into data sets. And in the data set here, without the S, pay attention, because here we're using with S. But this one is here without the S. And then what we want to do here, we want to go here to border color. And all we want is basically the color matching with this Friday item. That should be this value here. This is the fifth element, which is if you then array it start at zero, or at least in JavaScript, it's starting zero. So one, two, three, four, five. The fifth element here. But how do we get this? This is number four. You can see here this nice piece of code that shows us the data index number four indicating that where are we hovering on right now if i do this one here on the black one here we should have here data set number six all right so this gives us all the information we need so we could do here context.data index and if i save this now and refresh and uh well let's hover over this you can see here now every time i hover wherever i go it moves to this here nicely so it could show us here so what I really want to do now is I want to have not only this, I want to have the background color or the border color. So let's get the border color value as well. So if we hover over it, let's search for it. So we get here now here the data set and in the data set we will get the border color. So it is from context to, da from, uh, context to data set and from data set to border color. So that's what we're going to do right now. So we say here context dot data uh set without the s dot border color with capital c so if i do this right now we can just basically copy this put it in here even though we won't not we will not be done if i refresh here we get here everything as you can see i don't want everything what i really want is a specific color which is the one we hover over so putting here the array value and the array this would be number five if i do number five here refresh you will see that it will always be orange no matter what happens so you already guessed it now if you just copy this code put it in here save that refresh now we get the matching color here of the border line beautiful and this is basically how you can play around with the colors in your tooltips so if you want to go really deeper into tooltips, I'm going to highly recommend you this specific video. This video here, how to add more information in the tooltips in Chart.js, is a 20 minute long video that covers basically everything. If you can see here, oh, let's remove that. You can see here all these items here and it explains every item here, which is extremely useful as well.